Research is terribly important in all of this. They're involved uh, with taking care of children, particularly a children's hospital. Uh, I think we have an obligation to be involved in research. There are two types of research. There's basic or bench research, and there is what's called clinical research. Uh, those of us who are busy taking care of kids don't have a lot of time to do bench research, but we still, I think, have an obligation to be involved with those basic scientists, PhDs, postdoctoral fellows who are involved in basic research. So as I mentioned, I have been involved uh, with uh, basic labs for throughout my professional career. And in terms of cleft lip and palate, I simply uh, document my patients and then send, send samples off uh, to, to Texas Children's Hospital where they're looking for the genes that are involved in clefting. Basic research uh, we carry out here based on our protocols. Um, I'm particularly interested in measuring growth in children with cleft lip and palate, how the lip grows, how the nose grows, how they grow symmetrically or not symmetrically, or the rate of growth. And so I measure my, children's, my children at the time of the operation, and then I remeasure them by hand uh, as they get older. Now, this is difficult to do with uh, a little caliper or a ruler. And so the most exciting thing has come along is called uh, three-dimensional photogrammetry, where we can take a split-second photograph using seven or eight cameras of a baby or an older child, and then using that, that digital image, we can make the measurements directly from the digital image. And we've compared those measurements to the measurements directly taken from the child and shown that this is quite accurate. 